This video is about analysis of a one diagram that Icelandic Meteorological Office has released. This shows the time passes from the moment of the GPS data showing the accumulation of the magma under the Swarsengi onto the eruption. When the magma, instead of uh, accumulating, will flow laterally toward the Sunuka crater series. This is the diagram which shows for all the eruptions in that area for the December, January, February, and March to April eruptions. The latest magma accumulation is sorted, our GPS shows by the 5th of April. On the 18th of April, you see the star, and 10 days from that time was the earliest time that we had an eruption started. So we can extend that until we meet the earliest eruption in this four eruptions that so far we had. And if we do that, and I will do it for you on the diagram, it will be 28th of the April 2024. And that's the date that we will probably start an eruption. That's the window I'm talking about. This will be a Sunday. Between that Sunday, 28th, up to the last time, the latest that we had an eruption in that Sundunko series of the volcanoes, is around um, 10 days also passed. That will be around uh, Wednesday, 8th of May, 2024. So between 28th of April to 8th of May, uh, May uh, we will have an eruption. It's quite possible. This is what will happen. By the 5th of the April, magma accumulation has started. The land continues to actually rise and not also stretch. Then this uh, area on the source thing, it fills up and then erupts laterally towards the Sundoka crater series. Through a series of seals and dikes, we will have eruptions. And uh, we will see a swarm of the earthquakes before that. This is the magma rising to the surface. And this is a three-dimensional view of that under the Swartzengi volcanic system in the Grindavik Rift Valley. A swarm of the earthquakes on the tremors chart will be shown. It will be like that. A few earthquakes localized and then a bang in the darkness between that window of the 8th to a, uh, 28th to the 8th of the May. So uh, at the moment, we have an eruption of K1, which partly is fed by the deeper source and also partly by the Swartzengi. But Swartzengi is already starting to inflate. That means practically magma is coming into it. And the exit of the magma is not as much. That means eventually it will reach a threshold and the magma will come to the surface through a separate eruption, it starts a new eruption. We will have two eruptions at one uh, rift valley. That's amazing.